on my way home from uh from the club downtown, I went up the on ramp the wrong way. I was going northbound on 95 South, and I struck I struck several cars. You know, a few a few people got seriously injured. One person died. It was a beautiful day out. It was 80 degrees. It was the first nice beach day of the year, and um, my parents had just went out of town and they were gonna be in the Bahamas for a week. I didn't really have any plans on drinking that day necessarily, but um, I, I didn't turn it down and um, I was always up for it, I guess, up to, to drink and party and all that stuff. Next thing I knew, I was in the hospital, um, not feeling too good, um, banged up, but okay. Um, but people telling me that I was in a bad accident. They said that when I left that party, I was driving down Ocean Road and I crossed the center line and I, I hit another car head on. And that car had three elderly women in it and two of those women were now dead. I was walking off the bus. My sister was in front of me, probably like 10 feet. And then all of a sudden a car hit her. I didn't know that somebody could go from being completely normal, like a really smart person to, you know, someone who has to be in a wheelchair every day and can't even talk to you. Choices that we make as individuals have the potential for far-reaching consequences so far beyond ourselves. I think that people have a tendency to believe that their actions will only impact themselves. And that is so far from the truth. It is like throwing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples fan out to shore. Come.